Version 1, read exactly as the author wrote it, starts next. Following that will be version 2, rewritten using board maker symbols with an emphasis on core vocabulary. Tisha and the Blossoms by Wendy Medor, illustrated by Daniel Igneous. To Valerie O'Shea for always holding my hand and showing me the flowers. W.M. For Sunny Amala, D.E. Tisha was catching a blossom in her backyard. Hurry up, cried Mommy. You'll be late for school. On the way, Tisha stopped to listen to the sounds. Hurry up, shouted the bus driver. I'm running late. In the classroom, Tisha found a book about space. Hurry up, said the teacher. We'll be late for the assembly. At recess, Tisha found a ladybug. She began to count the spots. One, two, three. Hurry up, called her friend, or you'll miss lunch. After lunch, Tisha drew a space shuttle. It had three windows, two wheels, and one bright red. Hurry up, said the teacher. It's time to put the crayons away. After school was over, Mommy kissed Tisha and took her backpack. Let's hurry so we don't miss the bus. <laughs> no, thank you sniffed Tisha. What's the matter? asked Mommy. I have done too much hurrying up today, Tisha said. Can we please have a little slow down? Mommy smiled. If your legs aren't too tired, would you like to walk home? It's only a few blocks away. Yes, please, said Tisha. When I was a girl, said Mommy, I used to love playing how many. Like, how many yellow cars can you see? There's one over there, Tisha pointed. On the walk home, they saw five seagulls, four children, three blue umbrellas, two sausage dogs, and one enormous hat. Then they sat on a bench in the sunshine and gave names to all the pigeons in the park. You two must be hungry, Daddy said. I better hurry up and get dinner. Why don't we have a picnic instead, said Mommy. Oh yes, I love picnics, Tisha clapped. We can crunch the cucumbers, chew the cheese, and feel the pickles tingle on our tongues, said Mommy. Daddy could crunch the loudest, Mommy could chew for the longest, and Tisha's tongue was the one that could tingle the most. Then a soft wind blew, and the blossoms began to fall. Let's catch one, Tisha said. I think my favorite days, sighed Tisha, are full of blossoms and a bit of slowing down. The end. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the book, please like it and check out the other awesome books on my page, Reading Rhino. Tisha and the Blossoms by Wendy Medor Illustrated by Daniel Igneous. She catches blossoms. Mom says, no time. She listens. Man says, no time. She looks at books. Teacher says, no time. She counts circles. He says, no time. She draws. Teacher says, no time. After school, time for bus. No, thank you. <laughs> what is wrong? No time today. Need more time. We can walk. We 
count one yellow car. We count five birds, four children, three blue umbrellas, two dogs, and one big hat. We give birds names. Time to eat. Picnic, please. Yes. We pack food. We eat outside. We catch blossoms. I love days with blossoms and going slow. Finished. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the book, please like it and check out the other awesome books on my page, Reading Rhino.